Hello guys, welcome to CAD Academy. So basically this is this tutorial of stapler design and we have already designed the part 1, part 2, part 3 and 4, part 4 by sheet metal interface and in this tutorial we are going to create a stamp over here on this part so that when we apply the force from this part to the pin the sheet gets molded. So let's start. So for that just double click on this part and click here on this surface stamp command. Now select this sketch icon over here and select this surface. Okay, so this is basically in our perspective view change this to parallel view. Now click here on normal view and uh, we need to make a rectangle over here. So for that make a rectangle. I am just making a random rectangle and we will verify whether this portion lies on the molded section or not that stamp section or not so basically we will just give the dimension over here let this be 12 mm and this be 8 mm also provide the symmetrical dimension so basically this is 12 mm so this will be 6 mm that's it I don't think so 12 is uh, sufficient so we will make this as 14 mm and this is 7 mm now click here on exit command and you can click here on preview so as you can see this has been made but we need to reduce the height by 1 mm so click here on preview ok that's perfect click here on ok now again select the surface uh, stamp command and again we need to select on this uh, sketch icon and select this plane now again we need to make a rectangle over here Okay. Just manipulate the value of rectangle little bit. That's it. Now provide the constraints. So let this be four mm. And let this be 1.5 mm. That's it. Let me again verify that the position of this has been shifted. So let's shift the position. Okay. mirror this about this ok let it be exit and click here on preview we need to manipulate the radius Basically, there was the error because uh, this dimension we have kept this at kept that as 1.5. So I have just uh, changed it to 2 mm. So this is basically the rectangle of 2 by 4 mm. And you can just click here on preview, and this is the shape what we are getting. Now easily the pin can be molded molded into this uh, what we say surface pen. Now again we need to provide the surface time so for that again select this and uh, 
go to hidden menu and select this rectangle and click here on project icon now select this and just click here on mirror icon and mirror this okay basically it's not mirroring don't know why Okay, so it has been mirrored. You can delete this as well as delete this and click here on exit. And then you can click here on preview and okay. So the stamp over here has been made. Now we will make the handles which are used for uh, pressing this part. So let's start with that. Let's go to mechanical design and then part design. And then you can rename your part here as part 5. Now click here on OK. So let me maximize this. Now select the sketch icon over here and select this plane. Now make a circle here over here of 20 mm diameter. Okay. And just make the tangency over here. Now click here on exit and pack this. By 5 mm. Click here on OK. Now select the fillet command over here and provide the fillet of 5 mm at this corner and click here on preview and then OK. <coughs> now Select this plane and click here on sketch. Now make a rectangle over here and provide the constraint of 24 mm apart, 25 mm apart, sorry. As well as this will be 10 mm apart from this axis. This will be 10 mm apart. Also, this will be 20. Okay, now click here on exit command and pack this by 5 mm. Click here on preview and then okay. Now again select the fillet command over here and uh, provide fillet at this and this age of 5 mm click here on preview and then ok now again select this uh, plane and click here on sketch command now you need to select a spline command over here and make a spline like this sorry Now select the line command and join this to this. Now again select the constraint command and make coincident with the above surface. Now you can click here on exit command and select the pocket command over here and pocket this. Click here on preview and ok. So as you can see this is the shape what we get at the end of stapler you can also provide the fillet here that's it now just save this file and we will assemble this to the stapler so this is the assembly of stapler you need to click here on exit component and then product now open your part that is part uh, 5 now select this contact constraint and select this surface and this surface and make it coincide now again select the offset constraint over here and select this edge as well as this edge 
and uh, provide the offset of offset of uh, minus sorry to zero mm clear on okay delete this and you can manipulate this now again select the offset constraint over here and make the offset of 2 mm now assemble this on rather side too on this side too again select here on existing component again click here on product and again open the part 5 now again uh, before that select this manipulation command and uh, select here rotate with respect to x axis and rotate this now click here on ok and select the contact constraint select this surface as well as this surface and make it coincide now just move this manipulate this in respect to x direction that's it click here on ok and now select the offset constraint and provide the offset of 2 mm between this edge and this edge click here on update so the assembly of stapler has been made just one part has been remaining over here the part which presses the uh, what we say pin so for that we will make the part which will be assembled over this uh, sheet so let's start let me see this first okay so go to mechanical design again and go to sheet metal design again now here you can rename your part I will just keep it as part 6 now here we need to change the sheet metal parameters now the sheet thickness here will be 0.75 mm and then bend radius will be 0.5 mm as usual now select the sketch uh, uh, what we say toolbar and uh, select the xy plane now select this rectangle icon and make a rectangle over here this distance will be 13 mm as well as this will be 7.5 mm sorry 6.5 mm and provide the distance of 44 mm to this edge Now click here on exit and provide the wall, select the wall command and make a wall over here. Okay now we will make an inclined line over here, for that select this change command and select the bottom edge. Now click make the angle of 135 degree over here. And increase the length, that's it, you can increase the angle as well. Make this as 145 length of 14 okay now again select the flinch command over here and uh, select this to relimited as well as make the angle of 90 degree over here again so click here on limit 1 and uh, click here on create plane now you need to provide the offset at minus 3 mm and then click here on ok again create the plane select this plane and uh, just make the plane of minus 3 mm offset now we need to provide the spline so this is our spline and uh, the distance of 12 mm and then click here on ok so that's it this is our 
final part which is to be assembled in stapler so just save this part click here on save and then close this as well as this part is mine open I have already opened this part so I will just select the existing component command over here and just click on the part 6 now click here on manipulation command and uh, manipulate the part along z axis and uh, sorry where is that part okay this is the part so you need to manipulate that part this part that's it click here on ok now select the manipulation command again and uh, rotate this part by x axis now click here on ok and select this contact constraint and make a contact between this now select again offset constraint select this plane as well as this plane and make offset of 8 mm what is this just delete this ok select the manipulation command and manipulate that along the x axis select again the offset constraint over here select this axis basically that's 12 mm so now you can manipulate this click on manipulation command and with respect to constraint and then you can just verify whether it will press the pin or not so as you can see this will be pressing the pin okay so this is how the stapler will work the pin will be pressed and it will be molded here molded here so this is full design of the stapler so thank you for watching and stay connected subscribe to the channel thank you